What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Recently, rumors in the black internet have uh, kind of circulated that Family Matters former star Darius McCurry uh, has romantic relationships are some kind of ties to Sydney Star uh, to the point that you know people were saying that they're now dating and this comes from some past history between the two because Darius McCurry and Malik Yoba they've become a little bit more open about their relationships with having friendships with people in the LGBT community that doesn't surprise me they're both in entertainment um, you know, we've all had, uh, you know, many gay co-workers or people in the LGBT, trans. It's it's not out of, it's quite common, right? Even former President Donald Trump, you know, uh, that was one of his selling points was that, hey, he was really good with the gay community because of his business deals in the past with rich people from that community. So it's not uncommon in American society to know somebody or have a, a friendship with a person who is gay. Just like it's not uncommon to have a friendship with somebody who is um, you know, you know, you know in, in Christian, in Islamic, black, white, it's common, right? However, what I believe people get confused on are these particular uh, photos that they have taken in the past, okay? Like if you see this one with this post where you see Sydney Starr um, linked up with him as if she and, uh, well, as <laughs> Sydney. And, and Darius are together, and then you see this other post, uh, this video post of Sydney and um, Darius. It, it looks like they're holding, like they're romantically involved. Okay. And if you look at the the comment that was posted by Sydney, um, it goes this: Day music. Here, standing next to me is a seasoned legend actor in the entertainment industry. Darius McCreary, a black heterosexual male actor who's standing aside a controversial transgender woman like myself. We are great friends, and this is a powerful movement we have made to let be the lesson to the world that we are all human. Okay, we see that. Right? Now, people are going around saying, like, hey, they're together. Booty clapper sounds! But Darius McCreary has come out um, and talked about how these rumors are not true. I want to um, play a small snippet of his Instagram video that he did uh, earlier, and then I'll come back and give some um, some insight to it. Hey y'all, so check this out. I don't normally like pay attention to rumors. I'm not into all that. But the small minds discuss other people. Um, mediocre minds discuss um, ideas. And um, great minds discuss how to change the world. So while you're busy discussing me, I'm trying to figure out how to change the world for you. Anyway, I'm sitting here with my mama. Hi. How are you? Mama, don't talk to them. They're Love rude. You. They're rude. Don't, Love you. don't. They're, spin the camera a little bit. <laughs> spin the camera a little bit. Got a better face. Spin a better face? Okay, mama. Now you guys got a better face on it, right? Nadine? Okay. Okay. Here we are. There we are. There we are right there. So y'all listen. So, y'all, this, this is, this, I'm, I'm with the baby, I'm with my mama, we eating lunch. <laughs> listen. We eating oxtails. We eating oxtails, we eating good. We eating oxtails and peas and rice. Well, y'all are discussing these rumors that aren't true. We eating. And they aren't true either. They, <laughs> are, they are not true, okay? <laughs> okay, I mean, but, but I will say this. What are we in high school? You gonna tell me who I can be friends with, who I can't hang out with? Huh? I mean, I mean, I'm I'm a, I'm a grown man. I'm I'm really five years from fifty. So I mean, if I wasn't with my mama, I would really be saying this a whole other way. But I'm being respectful because my mama right you here. Gotta be. Yes, ma'am. Being anyway, good. Anyway, we love you guys. Okay. Love you guys. Stop love running yourself. with these rumors, y'all. No, Not true. You know what I'm saying? That's Not when you true. need your big brother to chime in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that my fiance would really have something different to say. That's, that's, the, that's the focus. That's what y'all should be right. focusing on. Where that where that ring is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the good. So we heard what he had to say. Uh, Darius. Who was with his, you know, lovely African American mother? And again, I miss, I miss American black moms uh, from the old school. So he's coming out and saying that 
they're just friends. Nobody could tell him who he could be friends with. And people are in high school. And that he's actually engaged to, I, I would believe, a woman that is born a woman. He's been married three times already, all ending terribly. So this is going to be his fourth marriage. And that nobody can tell him who he could be friends with. Okay, so then my question is this. If you and Sydney Star are friends, fine. Why does Sydney feel the need to keep trying to post you and start these rumors if that's your friend? Obviously, you know what the response is going to be because you're taking these photos with Sydney in a very provocative fashion that would indicate that you are dating or romantically involved. So why what why does Sydney want to do that? Like if you're friends with somebody, why do you have to why why is Sydney using you for clout in that in that fame or in that you know in that particular way that makes you look like that? If it's not true. You, if that's your friend, like if I have a friend and they post something of 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 me that makes me look like something that I'm not. I'm gonna say, listen, you need to delete that shit. I'm not gonna come out and check fans because you're mad at people for spreading those rumors. No, you're you should be mad at Sydney Star. Sydney Star is the one that's making these rumors seem what they are. Even though, to give credit to Sydney Star, it does say on that post that. You are a heterosexual male. I believe that. But if that's your friend and your friend is causing these problems for you like that, and you know people are high school type uh, thinkers on social media, why would Sydney do that? It doesn't make any sense. It seems like it's messiness and it's drama that you're getting used for clout. Now, my big question has nothing to do with Sydney Star anymore. That's just addressing the that particular situation my question is bro you're getting engaged again why why you've been married three times this is gonna be number four okay i believe at four or, or your third time you got married to juliet man that was it timmy bronner so it's your fifth, third time rather right then you was with uh who was the one chick the super head girl i think he was with one of those chicks. All right. So you, 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 you're doing a, 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 a bad problem for yourself, Mr. McCurry. You're getting married again. Why? Okay. It's going to end up like the last time. Divorce. Okay. Because it's probably something that you're doing that's wrong and choosing women or you're having problems having a stable relationship because maybe you're not stable. So again, you're upset with your fans. You're upset with people because of how somebody is portraying you in the photos that you took. If that's your friend and you know you don't have problems, like if I took a, a picture with a with a female that I'm not dating, I'm not gonna be all on her like that, right? And again, you should blame yourself for the attention that you're getting. If you would have took those photos, Sydney wouldn't be able to post them, and then the gossip wouldn't be what it is. And as far as you trying to change the world, let, let's be real, bro. You're, do you even have any money right now? I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. People just say it's stupid as shit in, in the world. To, to, you know, what are you talking about? You can't even change the tide. <laughs> let alone changing the world. The last time you had any decent role was was when Bill Clinton was the president. When you were on Family Matters, bro. Nobody's checking for you. You're dusty. All right, so just stop that. I'm trying to change the world. Change your draws. <laughs> okay? Stop playing. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first comment at the top. As you know, the buffoon remains at all-time high. I'm out.